Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name's Diane. Thank you for coming by. Uh, I haven't posted in a while. I've been feeling a tad under the weather. I don't know if it's allergies or what. And then yesterday was my birthday. So I did a bunch of lounging and indulged myself into some Netflix um, movies and some popcorn because that's my favorite thing in the whole world is popcorn or maybe licorice. But anyway, um, again, thank you for coming by. I, uh, today's going to be a little bit different. I just wanted to talk about Michelle Obama and some of the connections and impressions that I got as I watched her, um, in history and, and some images. And, um, some of you who haven't been here before, if you're new to my channel, I get impressions. I see things. A lot of times it's related to food, but it isn't always. And uh, I'm an artist, but I'm also a hypnotherapist and uh, an astrologer, and I have these images that I get, and I ask you guys to help me decipher them on occasion, and many times they're political or current events or different things that are going on. I also do personal readings if you guys are interested, but that's in the description box. Today, I wanted to just talk about the Democratic National Convention. We've watched every night of it. And I know when I've asked people, family and friends, if they have, and then most of them are like, well, I see a few a few minutes or this or that. I just wanted to say that it was produced amazingly. Uh, the celebrities and the humor they threw in was awesome. The poignant, um, serious, and heart-wrenching stories were also so... Um, helpful to draw people in to understand what their goal is. The freedom, the idea of freedom, flag, family has just been elevated. Anyway, that's another video. But today I was just going to talk about Michelle Obama. She and Barack uh, spoke, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. I forget. Or maybe it was Wednesday. And I know people have talked about her in that suit. It was it was like a warrior suit. Kamala and Tim are calling themselves the Joyful Warriors. And a lot of the theme in many of the speeches was about joy and um, bringing a positive attitude and positive outlook and life for Americans because we've been like a cigarette, but just dug into the ground with the heel of somebody's shoe and it's just like trying 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 to get ourselves back up again and feel the pride that we used to feel for ourselves and globally because I know uh, people are all around the world really uh, react and are nervous for our election and it really affects everyone around the world in some way or another uh, so when I saw Michelle I love the suit. And I was like, she's got amazing arms. I know that was a thing when they were in the White House. People talked about her arm workout and how she did that. She just has beefy upper arms and they're amazing. So she was showing them off. But the silhouette of her, um, her outfit was structured, kind of sharp. The lapels, I don't know if anybody knows, the lapels were kind of, instead of here, they were crisscrossed. And... I couldn't pull off those shorter pants because I have stubby legs, but she's like Amazon woman. So she's very tall. So she can, and she's thin, but the energy that I got from her was a fighter. She's from South Chicago. Her family's South Chicago. At one point I, I didn't read her book, but so this is limited information that I have, but I know people have seen her in person and said, she's amazing. My brother actually um, was on a board with her at a hospital. He said, she's exactly exactly like she is there she does there's no airs to her she uh she came from south chicago i think her father was a garbage man picked up trash and uh so they were low to mid-income people in south chicago i'm sure it wasn't like that then but it is really really difficult area it's really poor poverty stricken crime that sort of thing now um and what I heard from her, and hopefully you guys don't take this the wrong way, but I heard at some points a girl from the south side of Chicago 
It was tough. And it ain't going to take nothing, no shit from nobody. And I, I just, that was like an underlying tone that I heard. And I, 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 I laughed because I loved it. I was like, good, good. Not that she has to be, um, you know, um, she can be tough and be smart, which she is, and eloquent, and articulate, and forceful, and fierce. And that's the word that came out of me when I was thinking, inspiring also, super inspiring, but fierce. I saw her as a warrior. I, and, you know, that's the theme kind of in this um, campaign. But I imagined I saw her as a warrior and Sometimes I see people as food. In her case, I, I did not. I saw her standing there with um, a staff or a trident, something, and she is like a soldier that is standing her ground and is not taking any shit from anybody, any guff. She is like holding the line and she's asking and she was saying, it's your turn. Now we have to do something. Because we can't just let it ride. This is things are not going to be the same. We think they're not they, that he can't win, but or they think that he can't win because of this energy. There's no guarantees, and most likely we are going to have to pull every vote. It's going to be a close race. So she was in, trying to inspire us and tell us, like a leader and um, a warrior and a soldier in a in a platoon, whatever it would be, to. A legion is to get it together. Let's go. We've got to do this. You can't wait till somebody comes to your door. You can't wait till you get a letter in the mail. You can't wait till you get a phone call. You have to take action, which I just I just felt. I know she's a Capricorn, which is a pretty... Um, t- Capricorns tend to come into their own later in life, although she and Barack were my age. In fact, he's born in the same year as me. I don't know about her, but um, she's growing into that, that sign and that seriousness that she is, but dang, it was so good. But what it it put me in the mind of also, uh, a couple different images. First of all, Joan of Arc, and I know Joan of Arc was a young girl and she was fighting for the French. And I think she's a patron saint of the French, France, um, against Charles the seventh in the 1400s. And she felt it was their divine calling. And, and of course, a year later, she was burned at the stake as a heretic because they, as women, get put into the witch or the enemy or the uh, hysterical category or something that we get labeled as because you couldn't possibly be powerful. So we need to to treat you as less than and smaller. So eventually, the French and the English got together, I guess, and collaborated and decided she was a heretic. heretic. She was burned at the stake. So she did die as a martyr, but I saw her as that, this fighter, this young woman fighting with all these men, leading armies against Charles VII in England. Yeah, Charles VII in England. And they won. And they won. So... That was one. The other one I got was Boudica. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her. She is, like back when, it, before it was, she was like a part of a tribe, a Celtic tribe up in um, England when the Romans were coming and taking over England in like 19, or 19, 60, AD 60, 61. Um, and her husband had an agreement. He ran, he was like the, the leader of the, I don't think it was a kingdom, but then it was a tribal area. And they were thick Anglo Saxons, Gauls and Celts, the group of like that, but everybody lived and it was fine. And then he had an agreement with the, the Romans that he would, you know, that would be okay to, he would, he was in alignment with them, not specifically, but he said, we're going to take this area. You, you guys can do what you want. And we're going to be here. Well, he get, he dies, and then they promise that the Romans promise. Well, that's okay. We're gonna we're going to um, not control your area. It's going to be fine. Well, ended up they didn't do that. They betrayed them, and they um, 
came and pillaged and killed, went after the daughters and raped and murdered. And anyway, Boudicca was the wife of this king or leader that died. She rallied and she inspired and spoke and gathered momentum to fight the Roman soldiers, the Rome, the Rome that took over everywhere in Europe that was coming up there to take over that land. They had left. The general had left. left, So she was able to rally all these troops from everywhere. They fought them off. This woman in AD 60, six zero, fought them off and killed 70,000 of the Roman soldiers. And then the British people who were aligned with the Roman soldiers because they all became Romanized uh, and the emperor there. So I saw her, and I, I'm going to show a picture of Boudicca too, and I think I remember her shoulders being shown, um, and that's what it reminded me of, all of these strong women, and the divine feminine, this is another thing that is reminding me, Kamala's part of that is the divine feminine is rising, the goddess energy from Gaia, the earth, which is the original mother, the earth is our mother, and she feeds us, she heals us, she uh, supports us, gives us life, water, all of that, the earth. The earth energy is rising up and the divine feminine is growing and growing and growing in the, in the world. All of these things are a reminder that we are on a trajectory of the fem- female strength. You know, I I see that there will be some bumps in the road. There is always a pushback. The masculine and feminine energy, there's always a pushback, as there has been for different things over the years that change, because change is scary. We all know that. Change is very scary. So we are going to see that more and more. And not just women who are feminine and caring and loving and compassionate, because that's the highest level of the female energy is nurturing and loving and mothering and caring. But the fierceness, the lioness who will never back down if you go after her cubs or she will find the food to feed her, her babies, you know, any of the fierce, um, you know, (laughs) don't make a mama mad because she will take you out kind of feeling. And that's the feeling I get is Michelle Obama is that person that she embodies that to me. I mean, I told you about Joan of Arc and Boudicca and the history. But I feel like Kamala is a version of that as well as that. So I just wanted to share those images and how they connected. And I'm very excited, very hopeful for the future. Regardless of the convention, which I said I'll talk about later, but this energy around us that's circling us, that's embedded into our culture now and our society, the people from the 60s are growing up. They, you know, um, Kamala and um, Tim Walls are born in 64. That's what triggered all the 60s movement, all the big changes, all the um, upheaval. And they were born with some of those energies in their birth chart. So they're bringing them into the now. So the changes, but it's changes for good, because in the 60s, they wanted to leave that old warmongering, old ways of doing things, and they wanted to, you know, flower power and peace and love and all that. And not that that's specific to Tim Walls and Kamala's charts, but that energy, they're bringing it forward. And then all of that is going to coalesce with the divine feminine energy that is part of it as well, that goes along with the new age of Aquarius, which is starting to occur. We went through the age of Pisces and it's moving into the age of Aquarius within before 2150, but we're feeling the shift, which is also one for all humanity, um, caring for everyone. So again, her idea of caring for everyone, um, and no one person is less important. It's all part of that same beautiful idea. 
And one other image I wanted to share. When I saw Michelle Obama, again, with the staff or the trident, standing there in that outfit. She didn't even have armor on, but she was like just crazy strong, like a wall. And uh, I saw her take that staff. And I have drawn a picture. I, I'll show you. I'll draw the picture of <laughs> Trump as his chocolate broken cake on the floor. And she stabs that cake. She puts that trident right through the center of it. And no qualms. And that can't stand from that pressure. That is just a metal thing or when and his cake just disintegrates so overall I felt just so encouraged inspiring words but also um, the way that she asked us to get stuff done and to get out there and I just feel like we're finally being led by people that care at least a little bit and women the feminine is part of that I think all right. Well, thank you again for following along on my my uh, my tra- tangent and all that, um, all my stuff that I go through in my head. I also wanted to ask if any of you, I've lost some subscribers, and if I have just lost them, fine, that's fine. But just check to make sure you're subscribed still. Sometimes they pop off depending. All right. Thank you. Till next time. Mm-hmm.